Hey, Dido, come here. You're going to catch a cold again. I should find out more about how to treat you. Last time you wouldn't stop sneezing. I'll go to the library at Tails Castle and ask Nathan. Hello Nathan, I'd like to look for a book about dodos and their illnesses. Are you referring to the dodo here or the dodo from planet Earth? From planet Earth? Yes, we have books about both. Wow, now you've piqued my curiosity. Give me a book about the dodos from planet Earth. Here it is, look how cute it is. It has an enormous beak. Oh, it's such a shame. It seems it was so peaceful that it allowed itself to be caught. There are no more dodos left on Earth. Look. The dodo was a one metre tall bird with bluish grey feathers and weighed around 10 to 12 kilos. Its beak was very long, about 23 centimetres. It seems it couldn't fly because its wings were too small and it was too heavy. This bird lived peacefully on the island of Mauritius, happy as could be. Then humans arrived with new animals. They brought cats, dogs, pigs and all sorts, and they ate the poor dodo's eggs, as there was no awareness of conservation in the 16th century, and this bird only existed on that island. The species became extinct quickly. Have you found anything out? Yes, they're extinct. Did you know it wasn't afraid of humans? You'll be interested to know we've just received a book about its reappearance to Mauritius. Have they found it? No, but they've managed to sequence its DNA and they're planning to reintroduce it. Oh, that's fantastic. I can already picture it walking happily around there. It has nothing to do with our dodo. It's so different. I can see the excitement for adventure in your eyes, Nia. You're not thinking of going to Earth to help repopulate the dodo on Mauritius, are you? It wouldn't be a bad adventure, but I've never been to Earth. It seems like a very difficult journey. Earth is the point where our universes intersect. I know that already. I've heard many stories about Earth. Some are terrible. Besides, they're preparing for Halloween now, and it's a time of spirits, wizards, and witches. Nothing good. Are you encouraging me or trying to scare me? Well, you don't have to go. We have plenty of books about Earth here. You can read them all. If my calculations are correct, we have exactly 5 sextillion, 83 quintillion, 700 quadrillion, 40 trillion, 80 billion, 40 million, 204,000 books. Or you could go there yourself and discover it firsthand. Thank you. I'm not sure it's the best time to go right now with this thing you call Halloween. I think I'll speak to Princess Lilla first because she was on planet Earth for thousands of years. The problem is Princess Lilla secluded herself 300 years ago and we haven't heard from her since. It might be the perfect time to go and look for her. I have two options. Go recklessly to Earth during the most dangerous time of the year, Halloween. Or look for Princess Lilla and hope she can give me some advice. I'll have tea and biscuits while I think about what I should do. 